Hello all, Jamie Rogers here from Craft Mania and today we are bringing you another one in our little series of recipes of inspiration. Now before we go any further, if you haven't already, please do me a huge favour and hit subscribe and hit the little bell icon so that you're notified of our future videos. I assure you we have got a lot more coming your way in the coming weeks and you don't want to miss a thing, I promise you. So today we are looking at our third part in our recipes of inspiration collection. Now, if you haven't seen the previous videos already, this is all about me trying to encourage you to bring out all your different mediums, your texture paste, your glitters, your paints, your, all of them different bits, mixing them together to create new and unique products. Not necessarily about you buying anything new, about using what you've already got. But with that in mind, Craft Mania very nicely have 20% off all Cosmic Shimmer products on the website throughout January 2024. So if you do fall in love with something, maybe it's a texture paste or maybe it's a glitter, and you want to stock up, you can get 20% off of them throughout January. Now this does not include bundle deals, because obviously they've already got a huge saving on them already, but if you're looking at any of the individual products, you can of course take advantage and get 20% off of them. If you've not come across Craft Mania before, just hop onto the website, it's www.craftmaniacrafts.com, and there's a little YouTube tab on the menu bar. If you click that, it will take you through and you'll be able to see the video you're watching now, and then you'll be able to shop the products from this video, and it'll give you all the links and bits that you need to the pieces that we're gonna be talking about today. Now with that all in mind, let's have a little look at what we're gonna be creating in our recipes of inspiration. So for this card, we will be playing around creating our very own texture paste to go through the background here, as well as talking to you about the different elements that I'll be using to create this card. But let's start off by having a little look at this bit and making our very own, very cool, very textural, very funky texture paste because to me, this is what this is all about, is playing around and getting creative. So I'm gonna work on a tile to make my mixture, and I'm gonna bring in the body of our sort of placement, a body of our texture base, which of course is a clear texture base. Now you don't have to use clear texture base, as I mentioned earlier, if you've got different texture base already, give them a try with what you've got. But this one is a great one, it's a 150 mils jar, so it's a big old jar. It's a clear one, so it will dry completely clear. So it's down to what we put in with it or on top of it, to how you're gonna create and play around with it. This of course is on offer. Your recommended retail price for this jar is eight pounds and 79p but of course you have got 20% off throughout January, so it's a good time to go and get hold of one. Now I'm gonna purposely make quite a bit of this. I know I've got more than I'm gonna need, but to be honest, that isn't the end of the world, because as long as you store it inside an airtight container or a grip seal bag, something along them lines, you can come back to it and play with this at a later date. Or we can use it through lots of stencils all at once and see how we get on. So the next product we're gonna bring into the mix is our glitter bits. Now again, we don't have to be using glitter bits, but I love these. These are a multi-size sort of faceted glitter where we've got at least three different size particles giving us that full on sparkle. And we're gonna take a lot of this, or not a lot really, but quite a bit, and we're gonna sprinkle it on into the paste. Now they do, at Cosmic Shimmer, do an ultra sparkle glitter paste, which comes with a similar glitter in a clear body. You could, of course, start with that medium if you'd like to, but this is all about showing you how you can bring bits together. We're then going to use our mineral mica. Now, I love mineral micas. This is literally natural mica that is just brought to us in this format of a powder that we can sprinkle into things, we can colour, we can put it over self-adhesive sheets. Again, a big old jar of this, not very expensive at all. Comes in, if I remember rightly, six different colourways, but I've purposely gone for this one which has got a bit of a sort of silvery gold tone to it. This one is, let me give you the official name, uh, Veneta Gold. Venetian Gold? Oh, Venetian Gold. Sorry, I'm trying to read my terrible handwriting on the bottom of the jar. We're then going to go in for another product. Now, we've already got two going on here already with our mineral mica, our glitter bits, and then our third one, of course, being the body, the, the bit that's holding it all together, our texture based. But there's no reason why we can't add in even more. So we're gonna bring in some silver gilding flakes and we're just gonna sprinkle these over the top for now. We're gonna mix them in in a second. And again, it's up to you how many of these you add in or how few. We wanna try and make it so there's no clumps. We don't want them to be clumpy to begin with. We don't want them to be like screwed up tin foil. We want them to be quite loose so we can mix them in. 
So we now have our four ingredients out on our little tile and we're now going to take the texture paste and start mixing all this together. Now I warn you at this stage you're going to think this is quite messy and I did do uh, a similar concept on the launch video to our recipes of inspiration collection but in that one we didn't add in the mineral mica we stuck with some glitter and we used an ultra fine glitter which you could use instead if you prefer and we left out the mineral mica where this time we've gone for a thicker glitter being the glitter bits and we've gone for the silver flakes and of course we've then got that mineral mica in it as well now you can possibly hear that's quite gritty because we've got that mineral mica in there as well and that's absolutely fine there's no problem with that we don't mind a little bit of grit in there it'll go through the stencil perfectly and we're just going to mix that up so that we've got this sort of paste going on now what i will urge you to remember is when we're looking at it on the tile here we have got the whiteness of the texture paste when we look at the texture paste it is very very white it really is like a cloud in here when this dries on its own it would be completely clear it is just the cloudiness whilst it's wet so we have that same cloudiness down on the tile as we have in the jar so don't sort of count that in don't think i've got to throw in lots more color or glitter it will dry clearer you will see that glitter do not fear so let's bring in our stencil so i thought i would use my lovely cherry blossom stencil it's actually i think it's called something like branch stencil but you'll find it on the website once again but it's this lovely branch design uh, that you can really go to town with you can color the flowers differently you can color the branches differently of course it embosses perfectly if you wish to use it with a um, rubber mat through your machine but for this one we're of course going to use our texture paste i'm also going to use our craft scrapers i love these i keep going on about this but to me these are a game changer when it comes to stenciling because i don't have to worry about nicking any of the bits of the stencil as i'm going over it because of the way this works it just glides over the top and i'm not picking up any of the thin detail of the stencil i'm also not wasting any of the product if you look at how much i'm managing to put down and pick up when we're going over the top of this there is very little left on the stencil now if i've got a spare jar or a grip seal bag i can then take that off i can put that back in that jar or that grip seal bag and i can use that another day so i have got more on my spatula from where we've mixed the medium then I'm left with on here or on the card. And you can even go around the edges using the side here if you've got any bumps and lumps that you want to get rid of. And you can then take that product and put it back into the jar as well. Now these come in a pack of two. You will find these on the Craft Mania website. They also have a little hole. So if you want to hang them on the side of your desk or keep them on a little ring idea so you can hang that, you absolutely can do. But once we've gone through and we've got all of that lovely texture paste put through all of the apertures on the stencil, we can remove our stencil and you can see just how beautiful this is now obviously this stencil needs to go into some water because we just covered it in lots of products and we don't want any of that to dry on there so i've thrown that over into my bucket of water and you can now see how crisp that stenciling is how beautiful that stenciling is i'm trying to get in so you can see the silver bits of the gilding flakes because i want you to see that at this stage they're a little bit jagged they're a little bit poking out of the actual medium do not worry about that once it is dry and i'm going to jump ahead here to a panel which i've already done which is dry and hopefully you can see here and i have changed i'm on coconut white card for the one we've just done on this one i'm on bright white card but you can see that the jaggedness of the flakes is gone because once this panel is dry all I do is take a nail brush, just a stiff brush, give it a little going over the top of and take away any of them jagged pieces of the gilding flakes, which are sort of hanging in on into the uh, texture paste and that will remove them. And you will end up with this really cool encapsulated glitter, uh, sparkle, metallicness, but equally the odd little bits, and I'm trying to point to them, the odd little bits of clear from where the texture paste didn't pick up any of the color. So you get this really cool like rainbow style of coloring through there. And I just think it's a really lovely way to play around and make your own products instead of always being reliant on the texture paste that we see ready created. So for our card, let's bring in some elements and we'll put this one together just quickly to give you some ideas. So card size, because that's always quite an important bit. We are looking at our card being just just under seven so six and three quarter inches 
by six and three quarter inches and we're going to step down in our sizes so we're going to use some of our black card now the card that i'm using for this card is from our bundle offers of card that we have going on throughout january we have that great card set where they're 449 for 50 sheets and then you can buy three packets and get one free they have proved incredibly popular if you don't know what i'm talking about there is of course a video on our youtube channel which was launched on I, oh i'm going out on a limb here now maybe about the 6th of january if you have a little look back something around that time but it works out that you're getting 200 sheets of card uh, for only £13.47p and that makes them about six pence a sheet which is very 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 good value <laughs> trying to use the right words here but very very good value we're then going to bring in a piece of the pink and the pink comes from the pink set as well so we're using the pink and the black out of them bundles and a lot of the bundles are multicolored, as in the packs so you get five different shades in the packet uh, as well so you're not having to buy loads and loads to get lots of different colors each cup colorway of eight of the colors gives you five different colorways then on to our stencil so i'm going to take this and i'm just putting it onto some foam tape and i'm going to give that a little bit of a lift into the air and already we have got that lovely white pink black white combo which i think is looking quite nice and again complementing the color of the glitter and suddenly when we put it onto the pink the pink really vibrant sort of really pops doesn't it we get that extra kick of the pink shining through from the glitter which i think looks really nice but it isn't taken away from with that lovely um venetian mineral micas or of course our gilding flakes then on the top of this i'm going to bring in one of my dies this is my butterfly frame now we do this in a circle and we do it in a square but i've gone for the circle this time and one of the nice bits with this die set is that you get the backing plates as separate dies so it's up to you whether you leave them full or open and it also means that you can cut them with the filigree edge in them or without so i've cut them without in white and then with in pink and stuck the two together so that i've got the perfect frame to go over the top here of my card so we're going to place that down just about there we're then going to bring in a little sentiment tab now this is actually from my christmas release and again you're going to find these all on the same page on our website so don't worry if i'm going off on lots of tangents they're all on the same page for this technique which is part three so of course our combination of our um, recipes of inspiration so christmas back in plate with love wording going on the top there again cut from black so it all coordinates and we're going to bring that in and just poke that just under the edge of the circle so we're not seeing too much of it we're then going to bring in some flowers now i have gone for my lovely rose die set which is from the everlasting collection and there is a lovely video on our youtube channel showing you how you can turn this into big 3d roses so they end up looking a little bit like these ones on this card we'll talk about this card shortly i promise but it's the same flowers that have been used here but for this card i've kept them quite flat and i've just added a little bit of foam tape on the reverse here so we can go in and lift them up and place them down on the frame now i always confess that i get a bit carried away with foliage because i do it's not a lie it's the truth i love my flowers and i love them to have lots and lots of foliage coming out from underneath them so we're going to bring in a few bits of our foliage and i won't get too carried away but we'll start adding some of these on now i'm also using today and i'm sure you've spotted this already but i'm using our dries clear cosmic shimmer glue and this is great for things like foliage and flowers because if we do get a little bit too much if there is a little bit of a blob up here anywhere it too will dry clear and nobody will be any of the wiser so we don't have to be too precise or worry too much but even now you can see i'm holding it over which is a bit silly and i wouldn't recommend it but i'm applying the glue over the top of the card so we'll move the card a little bit out of the way so that just in case but it it's nice that you don't have to worry because you're working with a clear glue and then going to give our leaves just a small pinch because they have that deboss line down the middle there then veins so we can take these in and we can start poking these under there as well and we'll do one more coming out this side just to even it out and again we'll give that a little prod in the middle a little bit of glue on the reverse and then we're going to take that one coming out over the top here of this sort of more full-on foliage piece there we go and that shows you how we can complete this card by mixing four of the products that you might already have to hand now if you haven't got them to hand your glitter bits that we added in 
that honestly comes in i think about 30 colors between the solid colors and the holographic shades uh gilding flakes i think there's about 25 maybe colors of gilding flakes and then you've got aurora flakes that you could be mixing in then we've got our mineral micas which i think come in about six different shades so we could really go to town with those and then of course our texture paste you might not have the clear you might not need the clear if you've got some of my sparkle glazes the more sort of lighter shades or glossy glaze in the lighter shades or maybe you've even got some texture paste in other colors and you'd like to experiment the worst you're going to lose is a couple of little bits of product here and there but you might just discover that you can create something incredible with them and hopefully you will do and you'll find that as your mixing goes you might even notice it between these two samples not only have i used a different shade of pink between the, the packs of card you'll also notice that the texture paste has come out slightly different this one is slightly darker i think i used the black perla in the mineral micas because it's got quite a lot of black going on in the texture of that one which is quite nice but that's the joy about interchanging your products playing around with them and seeing what combo works best for you now with this in mind something else i wanted to share with you is this card now we spoke a little bit about the roses coming from the same set as the flowers that we just used on this one but i wanted to talk to you about this part in the back here this is clear texture base just put through the stencil and then instead of actually mixing in anything with it I've taken the mineral mica and I've sprinkled that over the top of it, let it dry and then brushed it off. Very similar to what we were talking about in the very first video to our recipes uh, series. But in the first video, we were talking about doing it with glitter bits and with gilding flakes. But this is the same idea using the mineral mica. So it doesn't have to be mixed in. It doesn't have to have a combination of things with it. You could create some really lovely backgrounds just using one product over the top of the clear texture base. And I think that works really nicely. Now, another mix that we could do, very similar to the one that we just did, but I also like to show you different color combinations. So obviously there are endless colors that we could be creating, and I can't keep you here forever, I don't think, you know, I'm sure you don't want to be, but I certainly can't keep you here forever and today. But one of the ones I really liked from another card that I thought we'd have a little look at, a little bit of a bonus on this video, is I could show you another one at the same time. So we're gonna go in again, and we're gonna bring out more of our clear texture paste. We're going to place that down and then we're going to go in again, but we're going to use different shades of the products we were just using, just so you can see a bit of a contrast. So this time we're going to use the lavender of the glitter bits, a favourite of mine. I think these are gorgeous. And again, when we look into that pot, look at that sparkle. Oh, I love the sparkle in these. The silver one of this genuinely looks, I think it's called silver gems, genuinely just looks like a disco ball in a pot. Then we're going to go in for our mineral mica again and this one is bianco silver so we're going for that silver tinge this time instead and hopefully you can see that we'll give that a little sort of shimmer over the top there and then for our gilded flakes this time i know we're sort of going between the golds and the silvers but i thought it would be nice if we bought in the golden jewels if i remember rightly i'll check the name in a second but we'll bring in a few gold and we'll give that a little read what one's this one this one is golden jewels sorry I never get the names right. So we've got Golden Jewels, we've got our Bianco Silver, and we have got our Lavender Glitter Bits. And we're going to mix all of that lot together, again, through our texture paste, just creating another combo. Now, you have probably worked this out already, but I literally just spent a long time sitting and playing. I didn't do much else. I just made combinations and see which ones I liked the look of. I played around and experimented to make sure that I could bring in more. See, I'm not happy with the amount I've got here, so I'm going to add in some more of our texture paste, and that will just take that down a notch. I know the sense that I want to work this one through has got quite a lot of openings, and I'm never afraid of making too much, because if I make too much, I can pop it into an airtight container, and I can come back to it another day. So we'll mix that up a bit more, and we've got all that beautiful gold going through here. And just like the last one, I'm not worried that this is slightly cloudy, because of we know it's going to be cloudy. We know we're going to have that to it because of the clear texture base is cloudy to begin with. But we can see that we've got that perfect consistency ready to go through another stencil and create another background. So we'll pop that one down for the second and we'll bring in this stencil. Now, I love this. This one's actually designed by Sam Paul. And again, I'll put it on the same page on the website so you don't have to go searching. Everything will be easy for you to find. But we've got the same stencil. Again, I would anchor this down if I was doing this uh, for myself with some masking tape. But for speed, we're going to pick that product up and we're going to go down over the top of the stencil. And it's as simple as that to create another stunning background. 
Now we'll pick up a bit more. We'll just go down this side of it as well. Filling in them gaps. And you can see again with this stencil how nicely that gold of the gilding flakes has been sort of spread out throughout the product. We've got quite a bit of this left, which is great because we can use that for another stencil or we can save it. We'll pop that off to one side for a second. We'll take away this excess bit down the side here just so nothing is wasted. We'll place that over on there, ready to be put away in a moment. And we'll remove the stencil from that one. Oh, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, can you see that beautiful sparkle already coming through from the lavender glitter bits? You've got them golden sort of pieces coming through from the gilding flakes. Isn't that Moorish? You can even see the finer details of the mineral micas mixed in there as well. So it really is a proper combo. Four products, and we have managed to create this beautiful background. So I'll leave that to one side to dry for a second, and we'll bring in the bits and a finished one to show you this one. So this is the same combination once dry. Now again, you can see them clear areas like around this leaf here, hopefully. But actually, isn't that beautiful? And it's unlike any texture paste I've ever seen on the market because it's got all of them different pieces running through it. We've got the little bits of mineral mica, we've got the little bits of gilding floats, we've got the little bits of glitter, and we've got that shimmer of the clear glaze. I just think that is gorgeous and something we can all make ourselves nice and easily without too much hassle. So let's pop this together on a card, shall we? So card size this time, we are same size, quarter under a seven. So six and three quarters by six and three quarters. We're going to bring out the gold in the uh, gilding flakes by matching in some of our gold mirror card. And we're going to place that down onto the card blank like so. So we've got a nice raised area to be working on. We're then going to bring in a piece of coconut white card. And we're going to place that on the top, just again with our dry, clear cosmic shimmer glue. We're going to bring in another piece of our lilac card from another one of our bundles of card that we mentioned earlier. And we're going to place that onto the top. We're then going to bring in the panel with our lovely glitz and glam to it. And we're going to place this one down on top of that. Now, at this point, I want to urge you, if you get created, if you get mixing and matching your products, if you get making your own texture paste and your own recipes like we have been throughout January and hopefully been inspiring you to get creative, I would love to see what you're doing with these. So if you're part of our, or if you're not part, you need to be part, but if you are part of our group, which is Create with Craft Mania and Jamie Rogers on Facebook, I would love to see what you've been doing. Please pop on there, make sure your posts follow the rules. If not, Zoe will be after me. But give us a little post, share with us what you're doing, because I would love to see what combinations you've created. Or if you prefer, in the comments, whether you're watching this on Facebook or on YouTube, you can always pop in the comments what you're sort of thinking or what you've created or what you're doing or show us what you've been doing, because I just, I'm quite a nosy crafter and would love to see what you're doing. And if it's um, one that I feel we can bring to air, then we'll do a video and we'll show you that combo as well. So you might even get name dropped in a future video with your combo being shown. I'll also bring in a with love to go onto this card. So this is just one of our little with love sentiments. It actually comes with its own banner, but I'm going to put it down on top of this banner instead, which is one from my Christmas collection. And we're going to place that down on top there. While I've been waffling on about our group, I've just added in our scallop circle and a flat circle on top of that. Both of these, of course, will be on the same page on the website, so you don't have to go out your way to find them. And then on top of that, just to finish this off, we're going to bring in a little butterfly. Now, I've put quite a bit of foam tape on the reverse of this because of my base butterfly is actually the cutout one with all of the pieces still in it. So if I lift this up, hopefully you can see that, but it's got all of the pieces still in there. So I've just put lots of foam tape on the reverse to anchor that down and hold it in place. And then I've put a filigree one on the top of that with just a couple of pearls so that we've got that nice sort of pearl part in the middle. And these are, of course, the pearls you'll find on the website too, which come in lines, which save you trying to line them all up. It's all done for you. So in this video, we've covered this card. We've had a little look at this card. And we've had a little look at this card. 
And hopefully, between all three of these, you can see why you need them mineral micas, you need your glitters, you need your texture base, you need your gilding flakes. And with all of them combinations, you're going to be able to create some really unique ideas and concepts and colours and designs of your own texture base and products. Now, I hope you're enjoying our little series of videos. I do know that there is more to come, so keep watching out on the channel. Of course, if you've subscribed and hit the little bell notification button, you will be told of when the future videos are dropped. Um, of course, if you're watching this and you do wish to buy any of the goodies, there is 20% off all Cosmic Shimmer items throughout January at Craft Mania, and the address for that is www.craftmaniacrafts.com. Uh, if you live internationally and you wish to shop with us, then your postage is capped at £10. If you live in the UK, anytime you spend over £5, that's all it is, you will get free PMP. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate, pop them in the comments and I'll do my very best to answer them for you. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. Thank you.